Meanwhile, we're learning more tonight about what led up to a police shooting, excuse me, what led up to police shooting a man in Canandaigua today. Police tell us they shot the man after he pointed a gun at law enforcement at a gas station on Main Street. And this is the second shooting like this in the area. In March, another man from Pennsylvania was shot by police. All of this has some in the community doing a double take. Others say they're not worried. Christian Garzone joins us in the studio now with more. Christian. Adam, Teresa, it's got some businesses on edge tonight wondering, will this be a trend? Some, though, are saying these shootings are very limited and do not reflect what Canandaigua has to offer. Canandaigua Police Chief Matthew Nielsen said at approximately 1.29 Monday afternoon, calls came in with reports of a suspicious man at this 7-Eleven gas station on Main Street. When officers arrived on scene, they encountered an individual who was uncooperative and displayed what appeared to be a firearm. Nielsen says the man ignored the commands of the officers and was then tased by police. As the subject was attempting to flee the scene, he pointed the firearm at the officers. Canandaigua PD discharged their firearms striking the, su the su subject. The man was then airlifted to Strong Memorial Hospital. His condition was not revealed to the media. This is now the second officer involved shooting here in just a couple of months. In March, a Pennsylvania man, 31-year-old Brandon Zirkin, was shot dead after leading police on a chase and then pointing a gun at them. Faria Tahir and her husband run the gas station across the street. They've been here for 20 years, and she said something's just been off the past number of months. But now, sometime working late night, we felt not that safe. After these two shootings, no more closing at midnight. We close at 10.30, so that try to be safe. Kathy Popple has lived in the city for 40 years. She called these shootings an oddity and isn't concerned. This is probably the only two times it's happened. Details on the shooting, though, are limited. Police would not take any questions from the media. This remains an ongoing investigation. As with all officer-involved shootings, the state attorney general's office will investigate. Also doing that will be state police, the sheriff, the Ontario County DA, and city police. Adam, Teresa, right back to you. Christian, thank you. And as you mentioned, when we get more details on this afternoon shooting, we will update you here and over at rochesterfirst.com.